I thought this was a, uh, a typical ACC game in the sense of the home team gets off to a really good start. And I thought Pitt obviously got off to a good start, had us down 16 early. Um, and I, I thought we just continued to, to chip away and, and keep finding ways to get back in the ball game. I thought our zone was very good for us. Um, we lost Murphy um, way too much in the first half. He's a terrific shooter, and uh, you know he shot the ball really well all game, but especially in the first half. Um, you know, our focus coming in was try try to stay in front of Xavier and and and, and Trey because those two guys are dynamic players, and then contest shots and rebound the basketball. And I thought as the game wore on, we did a much better job of rebounding the basketball. And um, you know, I, I thought our bench was terrific. We had a lot of guys coming off the bench and, and give us quality minutes and, and big production. And for us, this was just a, a really good team win across the board. We had a lot of guys make huge contributions to this victory. Questions for Coach? How difficult is it to stay in front of those two guards that you mentioned, and how much did you feel like you did a good job of that, especially in the final minute of the game? Well, during the course of the ball game, you never feel like you do a good enough job. You know, I think when the game's over and you're able to look at the, the stats and, and you look at the film, and try to figure out some different reasons. But, you know, I, I, uh, I was fortunate and blessed enough to play in the NBA, and I understand players make plays. And those two dudes are players, and they're going to make plays. What did you do in the final minute to prevent them from doing that? Um, just just try to do a better job of staying in front of them, but also to help guys being in their help spots and, and hopefully trying to clog up their vision of driving the basketball to the basket. In, putting bodies, try to put bodies in front of them. Um, but a lot of times, even when you have bodies in front of them, those guys are so clever with their footwork, they can they can hit seams. What does it mean uh, to your big picture uh, when you are down 16 on the road and you come back and win a game like this? Huge win. It's huge win. Um, you know, college, college athletics across the board, our league, it's tough to get wins, period, whether you're at home or you're on the road. And um, for our guys to continue to battle, and, and find a way when things aren't going well for you, especially early on, uh, was something as a staff that we're very happy and, and, and proud to see. But you know, we've got a this 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 is a uh, an unforgiving league, and you know, you we can enjoy it tonight on the ride back, and then we got to get ready for Florida State. Pitt has to get ready for their next opponent, and so that's what this league is all about. And um, but it's hard to win in college athletics, period, especially in our league. Coach, what was your specific emphasis once you were down 16? Take care of the basketball was one. Um, you know, for the game, I believe they had 18 points off of our turnovers. Early. Yeah. yeah, and so we wanted to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. Mm -hmm. We knew that they were a pressure team, that they were going to come out, extend pressure, they were going to be active, and they were going to cause a lot of havoc guarding the ball with their defensive pressure. And so for us, we didn't handle that pressure well throughout the whole ball game. We finished with 14 turnovers. Now we had 15 assists. Um, we did a much better job at key moments in the game. But overall, we have to do a better job of handling their pressure. I thought another key for us was rebound the basketball. Um, and, and so, you know, when they weren't able to uh, get on the glass like they normally do, they, they missed Tony tonight. You know, because he, he's a nightmare matchup in terms of what he brings effort and energy-wise. And he's always on the glass and creating some opportunities for his team with his effort um, on the glass, defensively, and in transition. Danny, important for the team growth when it's not Brandon that's leading the way for you, but it's other, it's other guys that are kind of stepping up, stepping up when he doesn't have maybe a go in there? I disagree. Okay. I thought he had a terrific floor game. I think whenever your point guard gets six assists, two turnovers, ices a game down the stretch with free throws, he's doing his job. And there are going to be nights where teams aren't going to let Brandon get up a lot of shots. And that was the case tonight. We knew that. We knew Xavier was going to take a challenge and guard him. We knew when Trey got him, he was going to take a challenge and guard him. And so for us, it was put yourself in situations where you come off a ball screen, force help, get rid of it, and trust your teammates. And he did a wonderful job of that tonight. How important were transition baskets to opening up your offense? Um, well, we like to get a little bit more, to be honest with you. Um, 
I, I thought we did a really good job of getting out in transition. I think whenever you have the amount of points that we had in transition, it, it speaks well. But for us, we need to score in transition. We need fast break points. We want to push tempo when we get a defensive stop. And there were times we were able to do that um, tonight to the tune of 18 points, which is terrific for us. But I still think we left a few out on the board in terms of turning the ball over against their pressure. I think you were 5-5 five and five before you started this three-game winning streak. What's been the difference in the last three games for you? Um, I think a lot of different guys have made key contributions. Um, but, you know, if I go back and think, it's always somebody having a big game. And I think tonight it was just it goes back to just a team – Team effort, you know. I, you know, I look at our shot distribution, and um, Sean D had the most shot attempts with 11. And then we had a couple guys with eight. We had four. We had five. We got to the free throw line. Um, I thought in the first half, Pitt did an outstanding job on the offensive glass, and we didn't. We only had I think two offensive rebounds in the first half to their seven. So I thought um, Isaiah's put back dunk was a was a effort statement play for us because we challenged him at halftime to go to the glass and he comes up with a great putback. You talked about the help defense. You got the help defense on Johnson late in the game, the final minute, and then Sar came with the big block. Did you see Sar coming down the floor or do you re, were you holding your breath on when the guy went, went the length of the court? Well, normally if you're a coach, you like the defense to see the ball coming at them opposed to chasing it. <laughs> Okay. Now, a lot of guys are going to chase Xavier when he has the ball in transition. I thought that was just really good pursuit on Olivier's part, really good pursuit. It was a terrific block. Did you see it coming, though? Did you know that he had a chance to block that? Um, I didn't see it coming until he got below the free throw line and I saw Olivier come, come into the picture. Anything else for Coach Manning? Danny, when you're, when you're trying to get back up, you talk about how wide open league is. Pitt's trying to do the same thing. I mean, how important are these games against the teams, especially that are sort of in the same spot that you guys are? Well, like I said, all, all games in our league are going to be tough. Um, obviously, when you're playing at home, you feel like you you want to win your home games. Um, you want to win your home games. You want to split on the road, if you will, in our situations. And um, that's just kind of the mindset until you continue to take steps and evolve. Um, and so anytime you can get a road win, um, it's 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 really good. It's special, and you've got to uh, enjoy it while you have it. But you know you got to get ready for the next one as well. This uh, uh, you know uh, th th uh, this this game here was uh, was one of your all started three point efforts uh, this season. Was it just a matter of making shots, or was there anything defensive that Pip was doing that y'all were able to kind of take advantage of? Um, no, you know I thought in the first half we 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 missed some opportunities to shoot the basketball because we weren't ready on the catch. I thought in the second half we did a much better job of being ready on the catch. We thought in pits, against Pitt's zone, if we got the ball to the high post and kicked it to the corners, we'd have opportunities to make shots. Um, and then that high slot spot also. I think Ishmael Massoud found himself there a couple times. Andrew and White did as well. Um, and it was just ball movement. Um, but, you know, we want our guys to be aggressive when they catch the basketball, and part of that is being ready on the catch. Um, a lot of times when you catch the ball standing straight up, by the time you get down into the ready shoot position, the defense has closed the gap, and now you don't have an opportunity to shoot the ball. What did you change on uh, Murphy in the second half? He only had four shots, took four shots in the second half. Don't leave him. <laughs> yeah, it's that simple. Know where he's at at all times. But that was the defensive assignment in the first half, too. And <laughs> we didn't do a good enough job of that.